Coming up, we sat down with Million Dollar Body Game Grand Prize finalist and $50,000 winner Phyllis Stewart. Find out where she's running off to since collecting all that money. There are so many people out there that you know need the help, like I did. Plus, we break down the intricacies of your metabolism and give you tips to increase your metabolic rate. All that and more right now on Beachbody Network News. Welcome to BNN. P90X man Tony Horton is set to host another live online chat this Monday, October 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Mark your calendars, log on, and join the discussion by clicking on the chat live bar above. Now to our first story. Your metabolism. Lots of people complain that they were just born with a slow metabolic rate. But were they? Dar Dixon breaks it down. Metabolism. Scientifically, it's a general term that encompasses all of the body's various biological reactions. But when people speak of their metabolism, or their metabolic rate, they're referring to something much more specific. Most people, when they think of metabolism, they think of their energy levels, and they think of their calorie burning or fat burning, and I think a lot of people tend to think that they have a slow metabolism. Many use their slow metabolism as an excuse for weight gain. But what influences our metabolic rate and what's really to blame? Our diets are rich in processed carbohydrates and they just wreak havoc on your metabolism. Metabolic rates are affected by age. After 40, the rate tends to decrease about 5% every 10 years. But is age entirely to blame for this? As people get older, activity levels tend to decrease and activity level has a much stronger influence on metabolic rate. There's a lot we're learning right now on metabolism where we used to think, well, I'm getting older, I can't help it, my metabolism metabolism slowing down, but in, the fact is that if we remain active throughout our lifetime, our metabolism is affected very, very little. Age. That one's busted. Gender also affects metabolism. At rest, men will typically burn more calories than women, but only because they typically have more muscle mass, and that's what really matters when it comes to metabolism. Obviously, the more muscle mass you carry, the higher your basic metabolic rate is. But gender doesn't influence activity level. Male or female, you can be as active or inactive as you want to be. Gender. Nope. Seriously. There's nothing stopping you, male or female. Enough excuses. There are ways to maximize your metabolism and surprise, surprise, one of the best is exercise. My personal opinion on, on maximizing your metabolic machine is a combination of aerobic exercise and strength training exercise because they, they complement one another. Aerobic workouts burn more calories in the short term, while weight training helps burn more calories in the long run. Diet also plays a key role. Research indicates that consuming small but frequent meals rich in complex carbs and protein helps keep your metabolism revved up and that means you burn more calories. For diet and recipe assistance, check out Beachbody's Meal Planner. Thanks, Dar. That information pairs up well with our recent story on eating smaller meals more often. Now, if you missed that story, just click on the Story Archive button below. Up next, we went to the volunteer state of Tennessee to see what grand prize finalist Phyllis Stewart is up to since taking home her $50,000 prize from the Million Dollar Body Game. Phyllis Stewart is training for a marathon, her first marathon, but not too long ago, this would have been unimaginable to the 53-year-old. I was obese. I weighed 216 pounds. I couldn't do, in Power 90, I couldn't do all the jumping jacks. It makes you stronger, and it adds years to your life. Phyllis says she hates running, but she wanted to prove to herself that she could finish a grueling physical event. She has the courage and the confidence to try because she decided to commit to a healthy lifestyle with Beachbody. And this marathon will have dozens of other Beachbody coaches and members to help her along. I'm just hoping to get through it. There's going to be a lot of friends there, a lot of support. Um, I think there's like 35 of us and um, we'll, we'll get there. Last March, Phyllis was one of eight grand prize finalists in the Million Dollar Body Game. She walked away with $50,000 just for getting in shape and living a healthier lifestyle. I was shaking so bad, I didn't know if I could get across the stage. But, um, and then when they were showing my story and the pieces that they put together, I actually started crying. 
For this Beachbody coach, her life will never be the same from both a physical standpoint and a financial standpoint. She's having fun and allowing herself to do the things she never thought possible. I've got four trips planned in the next two months where I'm flying out to see my friends and uh, do a little bit of coaching. And she's serious about growing her Beachbody coaching business too. Because of the success of her business, she's been able to quit one of her jobs and plans to quit the other in the near future. I really want to help people. I mean, there are so many people out there that, you know, need the help like I did. You just have to you be there for somebody, you know, inspire them, give them uh, motivation. Anybody can do it. So come on, what are you waiting for? Come run with me. See you in Texas. It's great to see Phyllis still challenging herself even after her $50,000 victory. BNN wishes her and the dozens of other Beachbody coaches and members running the San Antonio Marathon in November the best of luck. And if you would like to run in that marathon, contact Beachbody coach Allie Cormier to sign up. I'll be there too, so email Allie soon. Speaking of challenging yourself, Power90 user Scott Allen emailed us to say his tight-knit community of Blue Springs, Missouri recently kicked off a program called the Blue Springs Fit Challenge. Now FIT stands for Families in Training, and the goal of the event was to kickstart families into leading a healthier lifestyle. Scott, thanks for the story, and please keep us posted on the progress of the families. Now if you have a community-based fitness story, like Scott, Email us at bnn at beachbody.com. Well, that wraps BNN for today. Thanks for watching. Coming up on Tuesday's BNN webcast, we tell you why going blue is the thing to do when looking for a healthy snack. Plus, Beachbody Network Development Vice President Scott Salick recently hit the Charlotte, North Carolina airwaves to talk about the Turbo Jam sensation exploding across the country find out why the workout continues to increase in popularity. All that and more on Tuesday's episode of BNN. Now you can go back to your workout. We'll see you next time.